So version 7.3 has been released for Blackmagic cameras and it comes with a whole new set of features including Gen 5 colour science. So I thought it would be a good time to test it against the BGH1 Vlog L. Now the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera is an amazing camera. It was good before Gen 5 and it's going to be amazing after. But with this new set of features and the Gen 5 I just wanted to go and test it out for myself. Gen 5 has been available for a, quite a while since the release of DaVinci Resolve 17 but it's nice to be able to do it in camera now rather than do it in post. And the reason for this video is because there was a comment on my last video saying that he would never work with Panasonic cameras because they're disgusting, they look so digital. So this will be a good test against the P4K and to see can it really hold up, how does it really look. Now I can't tell you which camera is better for you, that's something that you have to decide depends on your use case, you decide. So here we have the BMPCC 4K and a nice warm tone, it's got a VND on here as well. And the same for the Panasonic BGH1, slightly cooler but it looks really nice, equally as nice in my opinion. And here we have the two of them together with the white balance corrected on the BMPCC 4K and just a smidgen of sharpness, 48 is such a little bit of sharpness added to Braw. And this time I've just added a warm tone to the BGH1 so it kind of matches the P4K original look. And here we have the P4K again with nothing added apart from a standard Blackmagic LUT. And the same for the Panasonic BGH1, converted in DaVinci Resolve. And here's the two of them together and sharpness again at 48. So it just brings up that, that B raw just a little bit to give it that bit more sharpness. Here we have the BMPCC 4K with nothing at all added. And the same for the BGH1, nothing added here at all. In this shot, I've added some saturation to the blue because it seemed a bit washed out on the BMPCC 4K. So does the Panasonic hold up? Did it meet your expectations? Would you use that on a professional shoot guys? And most importantly, what did you think of it against Generation 5 Color Science on the Blackmagic? Take care guys, I'll see you on the next one.